You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This video was shot on two different days. The first part is when my friend Shabiba and her family came home for visiting us. And the later part, I'll get on that after this. Now Shabiba is my classmate from Qatar. We were benchmates too in our 11th grade. She then left to Kerala, but we were still in touch. The last time I saw her was from Dubai when she came to visit her sister and family. And I think it was in the year 2011 or 12. I had gone to meet her and it's been a very long back ever since then. We are meeting now. I don't know if you remember seeing on my Instagram where I used to share a few craft works of hers in my stories. She does amazing Arabic calligraphy. I'll show you in some time the work she made for me. I shall share her Instagram page and YouTube channel link in the description box. It was Friday, a weekend holiday for everyone here, but my husband was really busy at work due to some ongoing project and he could come home only around 8.30 pm. So she told me that she'll be coming to meet us after that so that our husbands could meet each other. It was anyway dinner time, though she refused a lot, I insisted to have dinner at our place. I had chicken and other items almost good enough to prepare something for dinner. I am on a veg diet but I had less time to prepare something veg so had to order that later. Here I began frying onion planning to make a curry and to go along I thought to make ghee rice. But later I felt chicken biryani would be much better and saves time. And we ordered few other items as well, which included Kerala porota, beef curry and mushroom curry. I kept aside some rice before putting them so that I can have it with the mushroom curry. I fried the onion till they are light brown and crispy. Into this hot oil, I added some ghee because the menu was changed to biryani and I'll be using the same for preparing rice and masala. Fried some cashews and raisins in it. Now to prepare for the chicken masala, take a large cooking pot, use the same oil and ghee mix, add some sliced onion and saute till translucent. Now add the chicken pieces, usually chicken needs to be cut in quite a bigger size for biryani but what I had in my fridge was pre-cut in curry size and I was even planning to make a curry initially. Once the color of the chicken turns pale, add crushed ginger, garlic and green chilies. Mix well. Let the raw smell go, keep it covered on medium low flame for some time. Time to add curd.
then goes in some of the fried onion few was kept aside to use later for garnish give a mix then goes in chopped coriander leaves you may even add very less mint leaves if you like i didn't have with me then add tomatoes chopped in medium chunks give a good mix time to add spices that's garam masala powder turmeric powder and coriander powder mix well finally goes in lemon juice you may add vinegar instead mix well by this time the chicken will be cooked switch off the flame and keep aside now time to prepare the rice use the same oil ghee mix add few sliced onion and whole garam masala that's cardamom cinnamon and cloves once the color of onion changes slightly add washed and drained rice i had soaked this rice for 30 minutes i have used jiragashala rice as this is malabar biryani you may use basmati as well roast the rice till you hear that crackling sound and make sure the flame is medium low add hot water double the amount of rice but if you're cooking in a pressure cooker reduce 1 cup from the total amount add salt then goes in some optional ingredients sliced carrots and chopped coriander leaves mix cover lock the pressure and keep on high flame till first bisel then reduce the flame to low and cook for 5 minutes rice is done time to layer it on top of the chicken masala adding half the quantity sprinkling some garam masala powder some chopped coriander leaves and some of the fried onion cashews and raisins and repeat for the rest half of the rice cover and place on low flame till the steam comes through the rice it will take around 20 to 25 minutes that's for the curd i chopped in some onion tomato carrot and coriander leaves adding curd and salt mix well i didn't have chaat masala with me sprinkling some will add extra taste Rehan had been asking me to try this ever since they bought marshmallows. There were few left in the packet and he kept as such even not allowing Arman to have it. So this is what he wanted to try. Heating a marshmallow that it reaches to the point it melts. Place in between two biscuits and have it like a sandwich. I wanted the kitchen to be all clean before they come and I finished off the work almost half an hour back. I didn't take any video clips of them because she was not at all comfortable on camera. So the rest was off camera. But it was really a refreshing day for me to meet her after I guess a decade. She has got two pretty daughters almost the age of my kids. So we all had company.
and that's her beautiful handwork she gifted me. She takes orders as per request. So if you are in Muscat, you may contact her on her Instagram if you wish to get one of these. I shall link her Instagram page in the description box. I don't think I'm doing justice to the challenge or the diet I'm following these days by not showing any veg recipes. If you've watched my new year resolution video, you would be knowing about the challenge. I'm on a veg diet for a month and I wanted to show some variety veg recipes, but packing, traveling, getting settled and all such kept me really busy. So I thought I'll include a simple lunch meal that I had on another day. When I think about vegetarian viewers, I have few of you coming into my mind and I really wanted to show some veg recipes. but the schedule was really tight i hope whoever is taking up this challenge is religiously following the workouts i show on my instagram story if you have missed any days workout please do check out 2022 highlights on my instagram so for lunch i prepared a simple yet tasty curry this is my husband's one of his favorite curries he loves to have with rice even my kids enjoy it you will have to cook dal that's tur dal which i took with turmeric powder coriander powder salt oil and enough water cook for two whistles on medium flame you will need raw banana you may use any kind chop into large chunks then tomato and green chili slit the dal is cooked now add the veggies into it if you think the water that you need to cook is less do add more hot water preferably cook for one whistle you will need a ground paste of coconut so add grated coconut into a blender along with some shallots garlic and fennel seeds adding some warm water to grind it well Now add the ground mix to the curry. Let it boil for some time. I changed to a pot because I anyway wanted the pressure cooker to cook another side dish. To temper the curry, heat coconut oil, splutter mustard seeds and dried red chilies. I didn't have any curry leaves with me at that time. If you have, do add it. Cover immediately to lock the flavor. For the side dish, wash red cow peas and add into a pressure cooker. If you had soaked it for three to four hours, it would cook faster. Here, I forgot to soak earlier. I will be cooking this with salt and enough water on medium flame for five whistles. The cowpeas are done. There's some water in it that needs to be evaporated. Into a kadai, heat coconut oil and saute chopped onion. Then go in some red chili powder and mix for few seconds. add in the cooked cow peas and mix thoroughly this is how my mother in law prepares this simple yet tasty side dish
Normally, I have chapati or wheat dosa for lunch and rice for dinner. But in case I don't get time to prepare chapati for me, I eat rice for lunch and have an early dinner with chapati. I love to add some crushed black pepper into the wheat dosa batter because it gives a good flavor. And that's some cucumber and carrot. I normally use a slicer to slice carrot. I prefer doing this for salads because it's much easier to eat carrots this way. I had seen this from Chef Vicky Ratnani when I used to see his cooking episodes on NTTV Good Times. And that's my meal for today. Being on a veg diet is a bit challenging having surrounded by people who love eating non-veg. But it's just for a month and I give it a try. My body feels lighter though I haven't checked my weight on the weighing scale. Anyway, I'm not worried about the weight in numbers nowadays because I'm just maintaining it quite well and doing my workouts without fail. Hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Do try the recipes and let me know your feedback. See you with another one. Until then, stay safe, take care, bye-bye.